What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Aviators. So, uh, spent the day kind of uh, configuring these new Avidines. I got three with seven out Mike front range, sir. And so, uh, I'm trying to. I'm going to go for a little test flight here, and I was going to take you all with me. Mike, uh, proceed direct air methods, report final fair methods. And uh, I think I'm really going to like these uh, new navigators. It's uh, NAV1 and NAV2. They're both the Avidine IFD 440s. Um, they're pretty intuitive. Uh, waiting for a GPS right now. They do. They load the GPS is just a little bit slower than the uh, or catch the satellites just a little bit slower than the uh, 430s that I'm used to. But uh, I don't know. They're pretty uh, pretty slick. So uh, let's grab some ATIS here. I have information X-ray. Front range tower information X-ray time two one five three Zulu wind one one zero one one gust one five visibility one zero sky condition view two two thousand. Temperature 3-2, check density altitude, dew point minus 1, altimeter 3007. Visual approach and use line runway 35, and spent departures runway 8, runway 17 is available. Upon request, advise initial contact. If you have information, X ray. Okay, so there's X ray. EGTs are coming alive, CH CHTs are coming alive. And so uh, this isn't going to be a long flight. I'll probably just go up a couple times. Uh, around the pattern, and uh, I'll just call this out as a maintenance flight, and uh, ask them if they'll allow me just to fly around the pattern a couple times and then come back and land. I just want to see how these things act when they uh, actually get some ADSB towers. Um, right now I'm not getting any uh, errors. I was getting some error codes for... Uh, um, just some of the configuration things. We got those uh, fixed this morning or this afternoon. Finally uh, got Avidine on the phone. And by the way, those guys are great. Um, they really are. Okay, so the way this is all working is my GDL 39 3D is communicating with the 796 and the iPad. This is my ADSB out. Okay, these are both WAS. Nav 1 is talking to the G5. Nav 2 is talking to. Uh, the GI-106A, and so what I want to do here uh, is just go up around the pattern a few times and... Uh, Took up 317 Mike, uh, landing air methods via Jonas, carries out a movement area. Wind 04012, gust 17, use caution. And uh, I'm going to put a couple of airports in these. 04012, gust 17. And uh, make sure that my HSI and my GI-106A are working down here. Um, and I have every expectation that they will. I'm going to turn on some fuel pumps here. And I'm going to call ground. Front range ground, Cessna 2523 Yankee is holding short at Alpha 7 for a 08 departure uh, with a request. Cessna 2523 Yankee, front range tower, go ahead. 23 uh, Yankee, I'd like to, if I could, this is going to be just a short maintenance flight, I'd like to go up and uh, fly around the pattern a couple times and then just come back in and land. 23 Yankee, Roger, runway 8, taxi via Alpha, and confirm you have ATIS X-ray. I do have ATIS X-ray, and I'll uh, be via Alpha to runway 8. Thank you, sir. Helicopter 7 Alpha Mike, remain south of Alpha Taxiway. All right, trim is set. Set. Ooh-wee, it is bright today. Okay, so I'm getting a, a notification that TIS is unavailable, TIS, um, and I think that's because I don't have a tower. And as soon as I get an ADSB tower, as soon as this thing senses or uh, receives an ADSB tower, I think that TIS will go away, and I should be able to see traffic on here. Um, cool. One of the coolest features of these Avidines is a synthetic vision, uh, and I'll show you more of that when we get in the air. Uh, but as of right now, everything seems to be working pretty good, so I'm I'm pretty happy. I'm going to go ahead and put a direct to, uh, let's do Lyman for this one. Okay, activating the plan. And my, immediately my GI-106A uh, started to deflect, so we'll just watch that based on how we're flying here. And uh, 
here I'm going to put a uh, 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 really a KGXY. There we go. Enter, activate, and immediately I got an HSI line pointing that way, which is Greeley, so that's good. And there's my HSI line. Okay, TIS unavailable. Now, if it gets a tower, this auxiliary button here should immediately go back to white. So we'll see how that uh, we'll see how that shakes out here. Okay, so I got the pumps going here, draining my auxiliary fuel from the tips into the mains. Uh, and I know there's a bunch of fuel in there because I had to empty all the fuel out of my RV because I got a stupid leak in one of the tanks. Upsets me. Makes me angry. I'll tell you what, I like these new, uh, I like the layouts of these. They're, uh, very, very intuitive, which uh, the 430 wasn't always intuitive. We, you know, as pilots, we we got to know them because we had to. Um, it turned into the wind here. All right, we'll take it up to 2,000. Set for uh, just a little bit rich a peak here. Okay, there's uh, Lena Peak. AGTs are going up. CHTs are going up. That should be about good right there. Go ahead and uh, check the mag. One mag. Now on this Franklin engine, those mag drops can be up to 500 RPM. Yankees Colonel, 3006. 3006, just that. Okay, check the prop. All right, oil pressure's good, manifold pressure is good. Take her right on back down to idle. All right, she idles nice. So uh, when you adjust the frequencies on this, it immediately brings up every relevant frequency. Denver departure, front range Unicom, front range tower. And you can uh, you can actually scroll through these. AWOS, Denver clearance, front range clearance. Kind of a neat thing. Okay, so we're looking at a quarter and a half a tank. Let's turn those uh, boost or those transfer pumps off for takeoff. Okay, mixture is set, prop is set, fuel is set. Uh, carb heat temp is good. Fuel is uh, about a quarter of a tank in the left tank and about a half a tank in the right. So we're, we're good for the short amount of flying we're going to do right here. HSI is alive. GI-106A is alive. EGTs are good. CHTs are good. Let's go take off. Front range tower, Cessna 2523 Yankees holding short at Alpha 3 for a 08 departure. And uh, if we could, we'd like to just loiter in the pattern. So 2523 Yankee front range, tower runway 8 left, close traffic approved, cleared for takeoff, current wind is 030 Okay, cleared for a uh, low left hand pattern, cleared takeoff 08, 2523 Yankee, thank you. Okay, so we're going to do a left hand closed pattern. Make the engine a little wetter there. And I'll turn on those fuel pumps just as soon as uh, fuel is on both. All right, here we go. PGTs are good, CHTs are good. And we're fine. Okay, now you'll see that these screens immediately go yellow and red. That's terrain. Uh, go ahead and take out the flaps here. Take out some of the power. Everything is deflecting. Now you see my aux key went back to white, so uh, that must mean... You know, the tower is right over at Denver International, less than uh, 10 miles away. So my guess is that uh, as soon as we got, uh, as soon as we got out of the, uh, got 50 feet above the ground, that was that. Uh, I'm going to turn on some uh, ANRs here, flying with the window open. It's a little bit loud. Okay, I'm going to take some of the prop out. 
Now on the Franklin engine, one of the things to be aware of is the, pro the prop response in this airplane is amazing. It just takes very slight turns of the uh, prop control governor there to... Uh, Trust the 2-3 Yankee, runway 8, clear, touch and go. 2-5-2-3 uh, Yankee, if it's okay, we'll just fly straight over the top of it. Trust the 2-3 Yankee, roger, runway 8, clear, low approach. Low approach for 2-5-2-3 uh, Yankee, thank you, sir. So I'll get that right at about... Uh, now, I don't know what TIS coasting is. I'm going to have to look that up. Okay, there's 2300 RPM right where we want it. We're at uh, 22 inches of manifold pressure. And that's good enough for what we're doing today. Let's turn those fuel pumps back on. Get the rest of that fuel into the uh, main tanks and we'll go ahead and start our base turn. They approved us for a low approach, so that's just what we're going to do. EGTs and CHTs are all good. Oil pressure is good. Oil temp is uh, good. And there's a runway. We're going to fly right over the top of it. So everything seems to be working. I've got my uh, Bluetooth up. And if you've never seen a 796, these are pretty sweet. Uh, there's my charts. Uh, here comes 3D vision. Here's uh, terrain. You guys have seen that in my other videos. But uh, let's focus on these. So my uh, deflection is perfect on my GI-106A. I'm going to actually put in a different destination. Uh, let's put in uh, K Colorado Springs. And that autofills, but I, I always forget it that it does that. So, uh, okay, and so that changed the deflection of the CDI here, which is good. Uh, we're getting to be almost 1,000 feet off the ground, so the uh, terrain warnings are, going, are uh, shrinking. Now to zoom this in. You can uh, pinch screen it, or you can use the knob. So it's fully uh, a touch panel, um, but you can use the buttons too. And that's uh, one of the reasons why I wanted these navigators. Um, I flew behind the 650s, and this is not a bash on Garmin, said that in the last video. But uh, I do like the... Uh, um, I do like being able to use the buttons. So... It's just a personal thing. All right, let's go back and land. I'm satisfied that everything we did was uh, good enough. Go back to our map on the 796. I like having a map. And from Rainy Tower 2523 Yankee, I think we're good up here. Um, if it's okay, I'd like to come back and land. What's the Yankee order? Increase the pitch of the prop here. That'll slow us down. 2-3 Yankee, runway 8, clear to land. 2-5-2-3 Yankee, clear to land, runway 8. Okay, there's our flaps. And we're carrying about 80. I usually carry 80 until I know I'm going to hit the runway. And I'm going to do a long landing here so I don't have to taxi so far. usually down and off at the 1,000 foot mark, but... And we're coming in high, and if you've flown with me, this is just how I land. Hanging on the flaps. And there I know I'm going to hit the runway, so let's... Floating a little bit. There's a little bit of wind today. And there it is. Flaps are out. And, you know, I'm uh, pretty happy with this right now. So, uh, you know, if you like this sort of thing, like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, until next time, you know, come fly with us again.